I've been driving her since I was just 18. Eating lots of trail dust from the radio to Abilene. When we pinned the herd up, I went to collect my pay. Then on to the Bullhead Saloon to drink the dust away. I put my elbow on the bar and I laid my money down. When a lady walked up to me in a bright red gown, she ordered me a whiskey and together we did drink. She ordered me another till I could hardly think. She asked me if I'd like to come and share her bed. My heart beats a doggone hard, I thought that I was dead. Went upstairs to her bedroom and there we spent the night. Next thing I knew, it was morning's light. So I grabbed up my britches and I quickly threw them on. But I found my pockets empty and all my money gone. So I put my tail between my eyes and I quietly shut my mouth. Gathered up all my friends and then we headed south. That's it, folks. Thank you very much. Mike. Oh, by the way, folks, you like that song? My wife who's sitting right out in front in the white Bob Thomas T-shirt, you can buy the CD. Thank you. Mr. Bob Thomas. Yeah, Bob. Thank you. Good. Same thing? You want to go direct? Yeah. Yeah. Stay here. He asked me to do this because his direct wasn't working, he said. Ah, okay. So we're ready? Yeah. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Bedore. How's everybody doing? She was holding her breath. He attempted a prayer. He was cussing the dust, rising up in the air. Cause the old cattle trail, well, it weren't anywhere For a baby to draw his first breath And the unbroken west, well, it was no place to live Cause it was hard to survive, it was hell if you did So he entered this world with a pair of clenched fists The first and last tears he'd shed and the longhorns load him a welcome As the new voice cried from the buckboard And the Irish, they sang sad and lonely Cause they knew a cowboy was born Yeah, that day a cowboy was born Well, the prairie closed in and the century passed. The settlers piled under the tall prairie grass and the cow towns died off in a world changing fast. The wind kept the spirit alive till a young boy from Kansas caught a breeze one day and in a five second rush he was fighting for eight saw it all so clear through the dirt on his face he knew he was born to ride and the long lost heir to the saddle finally found his way back home as he picked up his hat well the crowd cheered 
they knew a cowboy was born. Yeah, that day a cowboy was born. From the heroes in the bright lights of Vegas To the poets of the sage and thorn A proud legacy of the nation Thank God the cowboy was born Yeah, thank God the cowboy was born Thank you. That's by the late, great Chris Ledoux. If you want to hear a good album, get Horsepower by Chris Ledoux, his last studio album. Nobody knew where he came from They only knew he came in Slowly he walked to the end of the bar He ordered up one slug of gin I could see he wasn't a large man I could tell he wasn't too tall I judged him to be about five foot three And his voice was a soft Texas drawl Said he was needing some wages for he could ride for the West. Said he could do most all kinds of work. Said he could ride with the best. But there in his blue eyes, the sadness comes from the need of a friend. And though he tried, he still couldn't hide the loneliness that deep within. Said he could work through the winter, 40 a month, and his board started to say where he might land a job. A fella came in through the door. I could see he was looking for trouble by the way that he came stomping in. He told me to leave Shorty there by himself, come down and wait on a man. The eyes of the little man narrowed a smile disappeared from his face Gone was the friendliness that I'd seen In a wild look of hate took its place But the big one continued to mock him Told me that I'd better go Find him a couple of glasses of milk And then maybe Shorty would grow when the little man spoke, there was stillness. He made sure that everyone heard. Slowly he stepped away from the bar. I still remember these words. Oh, it's plain, you're looking for trouble. Trouble's what I try to shun. But if that's what you want, that's what you'll get. This cowboy, we're both packing guns. His hands already positioned, his feet wide apart on the floor. I hadn't noticed there on his hip was a short girl, bad 44. He was plain, he was ready and waiting. He leaned a bit forward and said, When you call me shorty, say, Mr. My friend, maybe you'd rather be dead. In the room was a terrible silence As the big one stepped out on the floor All drinking stopped in the tick of the clock Said death would wait ten seconds more 
He cursed once or twice in a whisper. Then he said with a snarl on his lips, Nobody's Mr. to me, little man. And he grabbed for the gun on his hip. But the little man's hand was like lightning. The bad 44 was the same. The 44 spoke in a scent that in smoke. 17 inches of flame. Ah, oh, the big one had never cleared leather. Beaten before he could start. A little round hole had appeared on his shirt. The bullet went clear through his heart. The little one stood there a moment. Then he holstered the bad 44. It's always this way. It's why I never stay. Slowly he walked out the door. Nobody knew where it came from. They won't forget he came by. They won't forget how a 44 gun one night made the difference in size. As for me, how me, I'll remember the sadness shown in the eyes of the man. We meet someday, you can bet I will say, it's me, Mr. Shorty, your friend. Thank you. That's an old Marty Robbins tune, and uh, so is this one. The West was kind of a dangerous place, but they made for good songs. Old Red was one of the onriest jet I've seen at the big rodeo. He'd bite you and kick you and stomp out your life. Old Red had never been rode. Meaner than sin, wild as the wind that blew on the Montana plain. Old Red was one of the last of his breed, and he wasn't about to be tamed. From Idaho, a young cowboy came to ride in the big rodeo. Young cowboy's name was Billy McLean, and Billy had never been thrown. The greatest desire filled young Billy's heart to ride this old outlaw called Red. He drew him one day, and I heard Billy say, I'll ride him or drop over dead. Old Red was wicked down there in the chutes. He was kicking and stomping about. Billy dropped into the saddle with ease and he yelled, turn him loose, let us out. Old Red came out with his head on the ground. His back hooves were touching his nose. Trying to get rid of the man on his back, but the man went wherever he'd go. Billy was raking old Red with his spurs from his tail to the tip of his chin. He was doing right well, but Billy could tell this outlaw would never give in. Old Red was running straight for the fence, suddenly stopping and then. He reared on his hind legs and fell on his back, taking poor Billy with him. There was a hush in the crowd and they knew This would be Billy's last ride The saddle horn crushed Billy's chest when they fell And under old red Billy died Old red lay still, no more would he move The cowboys who'd seen it could tell and trying to throw Billy off of his back Old Red broke his neck when they fell 
Out in the west is the place where they rest This cowboy that never was thrown One foot away resting there neath the clay Is the outlaw that never was rode Thank you very much.